Windows is a platform we have been using for years now and while Windows 10 has remained Windows 10, Microsoft has regularly updated the platform with various new options and settings that really enhance the Windows experience. That's what we are talking about today. Hey guys, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com and today I'm going to talk about Windows settings that you should change right away. Do note that some of these features and options might be limited to the Windows inside a preview and they might not be available on your PC or laptop. Anyway, before we start rolling, for those of you who are new here, how about you hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Now let's check out some Windows settings. Windows 10 recently brought a new clipboard feature that's one of my favorite new features. I mean I've been waiting for a native clipboard feature to arrive on Windows for so long and now that it's finally here, it's disabled by default, typical Microsoft. Anyway, all you need to do is go to the clipboard settings in the system settings. Here you can just enable clipboard history and sync across devices if you want to copy and paste between multiple devices of yours and that's it. Now you can just use the keyboard shortcut Windows plus V to open up the clipboard anytime, anywhere and just check out everything you've copied and paste it with ease. It's pretty awesome. Microsoft recently brought a new screenshot tool to Windows 10 and it's great but to use it, you have to use the keyboard shortcut Windows plus Shift plus S and it's not the most easiest or most intuitive keyboard shortcut out there. Well, Microsoft understood that and now you can use the good old print screen button to open up the new screenshot too. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Here's how to enable it. You can just head to keyboard settings on your PC and here just scroll down and you'll find the print screen shortcut. Just enable it. Now you can just press the print screen key to open up the screenshot tool to take a rectangular screenshot, freeform screenshot or a full screenshot. Easy, right? Plus, once you've taken a screenshot, you can quickly edit it, doodle on it. It's super handy. Ok, so you've always wanted an airdrop like file sharing feature on Windows, right? Well, not many people know but Windows already has a similar feature called nearby sharing that uses Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to let people share files with other Windows PCs with ease. Now enabling it is as easy as it gets. You can just open up the action center. You just turn on the nearby sharing option and that's it. Now you can just right click on a file and click on the share option which will open up a sharing dialog like this one where you'll see all the nearby Windows devices. Now I want to send this file to George so I can just click on his PC, Georgie here, and share the file with ease and that's it. Pretty cool, right? Do note that the receiver too needs to have the nearby sharing feature turned on. There are times when you take a picture from your smartphone and you quickly need to send it to your PC for quick editing, right? Well, Windows 10 now has a really seamless feature for that. I'm talking about the new Your Phone feature. Okay, so in the settings page, there is this phone option, right? Here, just add your phone, after which you'll get a link to the Your Phone companion app on your phone, obviously. Then you can just install the app, after which just sign in with your Microsoft account, give it the permissions. You know the drill. Once everything's set up, you'll see all the photos and messages from your phone in the Your Phone app on your PC. Plus, when you take a photo on your phone, it shows up instantly here on your PC. So that's pretty great. I know the app is still pretty limited, but Microsoft has promised a number of new features in the next update, so it'll definitely get better. Notifications on your phone, on your PC, it's just really distracting. And if you're anything like me, a notification can make you go from this to this. Anyway, Focus Assist is something that helps you with exactly that. Focus Assist lets you choose which notifications you'd like to see while the rest go directly to the action center. You'll find the Focus Assist settings in the system settings and as you can see, I can set notifications to priority only or alarms only. There are also rules that you can customize. So if I want only important notifications during work hours, I can set that. I can even set things up for when I'm at home. So yeah, it's pretty handy and it's a pretty underrated feature to be honest. Last year's ransomware like WannaCry and Paytia made people wanna cry and affected a lot of Windows devices. Well, not many people know, but Windows 10 now has a built-in feature called Controlled Folder Access to protect you against ransomware. 
You'll find the option in the Windows Security's Virus and Threat Protection page. Here you can just turn on Control Folder Access, check the folders that are protected and add folders that you want to protect. Folders that have your personal and sensitive data. Now what Control Folder Access does is, it recognizes malware and does not let search apps and software to make any changes in the protected folders. So even if there's a ransomware attack on your PC, these folders should be safe, theoretically. the privacy issues in Windows and the fact that the platform collects a lot of user data. But the good thing is you can always control your privacy with various settings. Yes, in the settings page, there's a dedicated privacy option that lets you change general privacy options as you can see. Let me just turn these off really quickly and you should too. There's also the voice recognition permission which you should disable so that Microsoft can't collect your voice data. Although that will disable Cortana but who even uses Cortana anyway? You should also disable the inking and typing permission too, so that Microsoft does not use your typing history. Then there's the activity history permission which powers the cool new Windows timeline feature. You should disable this if you don't want Microsoft to record your activities. Anyway, scroll down on this page and you can also see all the other unnecessary permissions any apps might be taking and disable them easily. As you can see, Microsoft and a lot of other apps on Windows do collect a lot of data and I really think you should disable these permissions if your privacy is important to you. Well, there are a few different ways to improve gaming performance on a Windows PC. Windows 10 includes a couple of native options to improve or you know, smoothen the gaming performance. First is Game Mode, which you can enable in the gaming settings, obviously. Once enabled, Game Mode prioritizes your PC's resources, especially when you have other apps open in the background, to make sure the gaming performance is smooth. We did not notice any major difference really, even with game mode turned off or on. But if you want to play some games while using another app like Discord to maybe chat with your teammates, this can be really handy. Then there's the new graphics settings in the display settings, which lets you customize graphics performance for specific apps. So I can set CSGO here to high performance to get a smoother performance on my laptop. In my usage, this option too does not really make a huge difference. But we did notice a slight improvement in the overall smoothness of the game, so it's definitely doing something. Look, uh, these native options do bring a marginal improvement in the game performance, but don't expect anything extraordinary. Well, that's pretty much it. Those were the Windows settings that you should be changing right away. I know, some of the new options and settings are pretty cool, right? Well, which Windows settings did you like the most? Tell us in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends who are Windows users. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.